Blessings to Shalom, everybody. I hope everyone's having a good Saturday evening. It's a little rain outside, but, you know, God has gave us another day to breathe life, you know. And I thank God, God, excuse me, for everything he has for me. And you know what? Don't feel like you're alone today. You know, even if you don't have a sweetheart, you know, God said you are his sweetheart. That's what he told me. He said, Angelica, to I release that man that I ordained for you to be with. I'm going to be with you to the closest, closest, and you're going to sit close to me like a friend. And you know, and God had let me know that the enemy will try to bring thoughts and vain imaginations in your head because you see all these people with these people. And you know, a lot of times people are with people that they're not even happy with. They just put on a little facade. So, you know, everything that looks good ain't always good. You know, and if God don't give you the best, you want the best. And anybody that settles for less than the best, you know, that's not royalty. God's children are royalty. And we know that we, what we are and who we are. So, you know, the devil can't just talk and contradict what God told us. You have to stand and continue to stand on the promises of God and continue to keep doing the will of God. You know, God, when the timing is right, and if God got an ordained spouse, he told me a lot of these ones, he's working on them. Let, him finish, let God finish that complete perfect work. You want a perfect work. You want a person that's whole, healed, and delivered, you know, because like me, myself, I know where I'm called into ministry and deliverance and called into intercessory prayer. So I know my spouse can't be having, you know, spirits all on them because he's supposed to be by my side as a help me, you know, and he's going to have to be delivered because, you know, it's going to be a, that's a heavy, you know, calling on your life for you to be able to, you know, heal and deliver and set captives free. You know, you have to do what God has ask you to do you have to be obedient that's why a lot of people is not where they're supposed to be now because god said that the python spirit has got them constricted the python spirit is suffocating their lives the python spirit is trying to paralyze it's trying to make you weary it's trying to make you tired it's trying to get you where you get procrastination where you try to get in that slumbering spirit you got to come against that spirit of the python spirit and i'm going to put a prayer up because i got to go I got so many, you know, I, I, I'm I I'm an I'm a expository teacher. I got this. These are full with prayers, you know. Some of them I was going to put in the book for prayer deliverance. I'm not giving them all out on Facebook or on YouTube. I'm going to put, you know, the ones that he leads me to do. And that Python spirit, I think I have some on my public page. If I'm, if I'm not mistaken, I know for a fact I have Python spirit deliverance prayers on those pages, you know. Because a lot of people need to be delivered, you know, because and then that Leviathan spirit, that Leviathan spirit, it would constrict you and it would be a stubborn spirit where you're not going to do the will that God told you. You're going to be stubborn and stiff-necked and rebellious. And God said rebellion is the same as witchcraft. So you can't be in a rebellious child and then think you're going to get the blessings of God. God don't work like that. He said those Deuteronomy 28 blessings are for those who are obedient, those children of God that's walking upright and doing his will those are the ones that's going to be blessed you know because it's either blessings and curses and i don't want to be under the curse you know god is breaking generational curses off of people bloodline at this hour he's breaking ancestral curses off their bloodline right now because you know a lot of people are stagnant from their forefathers the generations before them it's time for you to be a curse breaker god is raising up curse breakers that they are going to be able to be breaking these jokes off of these people these bondages these strongholds, Father God, because, you know, God wants, he's into marriages. He's not into fornication. He's not into stay with people. He's not into none of that. You know, and the devil has had us fooled to make us think that we don't have to be accountable to anybody. You know, that's the same spirit that Satan had. He didn't want to be accountable to God because he wanted to be, he wanted to be equal as him, if not better than him. You know, you have to watch it because, you know, that's how you know if you got the devil tendencies because you just got to look at his life and what he did and how he rebelled against God. And then he got himself kicked out of heaven. You know, you don't want yourself to be kicked out of heaven if you know you on that glory train to get to heaven, you know. And you have to be like, God, whatever in me, purge it out. Cleanse me, Father God. Deliver me. Deliver me from the python spirit, that old stiff neck spirit, that old spirit that's trying to constrict me, that spirit that's trying to keep me back, that spirit that got me in entanglements that I know I ain't supposed to be. That's why I said a lot of these relationships are entanglements. They're not kingdom marriages. God looking for kingdom people, for kingdom marriages so they can be up right in front of his eyes and holy. You know, God is not in this. You know, that's why I, I kind of watch people and I listen to people because, you know, that's, that's something that 
God gave crafted me to do, especially when the discerning spirits and discerning different voices, you know, speaking to people. You got to know that, you know, at this hour, God is raising up deliverance. Deliverance is the children of deliverers that will do the deliverance. You know that God has healing and and they walk in the healing miracles and signs and wonders. The devil knows that. So he's going to try his best to keep those two that are supposed to be ordained before the foundation of the world apart. You know, he knows he's a slick, sinister bastard because he's always using that spirit of seduction. It done made a lot of men, great men and women fall. You know, because they wasn't led by the spirit of God. They was led by their flesh. You want to be led by your spirit, not the flesh. God said, do not fulfill the lust of the flesh. He said we are to walk by the Spirit because daily, you know, be led by Him. You know, that's what keeps you safe. And you know what? And that will keep you in the will of God. You know, and until next time, Angelique Chronicles, be blessed. Bye-bye.